Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com here to bring another gear review and today we're talking about this guy which is the Mantis 26 liter pack by Arcteryx. Backpacks are one of those things where there's tons of them out there and to a certain extent a backpack's a backpack's a backpack. It's a way for you to carry things on your back. But at the same time, we have some that are really geared towards certain activities and really do a great job in these little niches. And then we also have ones that are just great day-to-day -day packs. This has became since probably 2009, maybe beginning in 2010, I feel like I picked it up, my go-to travel backpack. When I speak to traveling, I mean, I've taken this thing countless miles. This has pretty much been my carry-on bag that I've taken contracting overseas so every 60 to 90 days making a trip across the states to DC from DC to the Middle East usually over to Afghanistan and then eventually back and what this pack does for me is in a streamlined fashion allow me to carry all the things that are important should I get waylaid somewhere and in addition to that carry them in such a way that it makes sense should I need to retrieve these items in route or when I get there. How do I have this set up? Well, in this pack, this Mantis, we have four main compartments. Up front here, we have a zipper on the right as well as the left side. Closed is all the way up. Both of them offer pockets across kind of the front of the pack. This one over here on the right side of the pack, fairly shallow, but fairly big, about like that. Whereas this one goes deeper all the way in and comes across to this side. So in this outer pack portion, unzip this guy. I usually keep my power supply in here. I have this Magpul DACA pouch, all my external cables, everything I need like that, as well as charging station for my batteries, and then external power supply. Keep that in there should I get stranded somewhere. In addition, usually throw some snacks in here, fruit leather, something along those lines. Whereas on this other side, this being a deeper pocket over here, I'll have usually some sort of warming layer, so I don't want to get stuck in a cold airport. So I'll either have a fleece or lots of times I'll have my Atom LT jacket. Stuff's down in there really nice, compact. And then I may have other things that I wanna protect with said jacket, such as hard drives, things along those lines. Things I don't want to have destroyed by the people handling my luggage. At the top of the pack, before we get into the main compartment, we have this top compartment here. As you can see, the stitching along here, it's basically this kind of like half a clamshell up top. Double zippers here usually keep some sort of little like keychain light on here so I can see things in the dark if I need to. But when we unzip this guy, we have a number of things going on. One, we have kind of different organizer pouches up top, usually keep some Sharpies, pin, as well as some Kim lights, should I need them in whatever event, and then random stuff, some pain meds, which are probably expired. And then usually I have a headlamp, again, redundancy, along with the Kim lights, and then other little stuff like tape, some earplugs, things along those lines. Also in here, we have this little clip. If you want, you can go ahead and throw your keys or something you want on a keychain. Make sure you don't lose track of it if you kind of throw a lot of things in here like I do at times. We then have the main compartment on this pack. And again, two zippers can take them either direction. All the zippers on this have pretty nice little pull tabs, but this compartment, I really like it because it unzips the lion's share of the way down this pack, allowing you to basically fold back the top part of the pack, give you immediate access. I don't really care for top loading packs, because if you want something in the bottom, you're pulling everything out. And usually what I'll have in here is power supply, obviously, for the laptop. And then back here on the back of the pack, you actually have this elastic piece and there's a sleeve there. You can slide your laptop straight into it. I choose to bring it in a case because I don't really want to break my laptop, especially if this pack slides into something. So a little extra protection there. But the nice thing about this, not only can you slide up to a 15 inch laptop in here, but you can also put a bladder in here. And again, we have another tether point, whether you're gonna hang a bladder in here or you wanna clip your keys or carabiner, something important that you don't want falling to the bottom of the pack. And then to correspond with that, we also have a place where we can route that hose if we have a bladder in here. 
and bring our hose out to us as well. And then there's plenty of more space in here depending on what you wanna bring. Again, traveling, cruising through airports, usually a hygiene kit, maybe a change of socks, change of underwear, should I get waylaid, somewhere along the line. Another couple of features that I really like on this pack is right here on either side, you have these elastic pouches. Sized perfectly for a Nalgene bottle or even one of the smaller, like 500 milliliter ones. And it doesn't take up internal space in the pack. It stretches on the outside. Whereas some, you'll have, great, it's a water bottle pocket, but as soon as you put it in there, it pushes in and takes up your internal space. The other nice thing about this is when you carry this, it's pretty comfortable. You have padding back here, but not only is there padding, there's actually a kind of semi-rigid sheet of plastic that's going through the back, giving it shape. And in addition to that, there's also an aluminum stay. So rather than your little Jansport school backpack that when you drop it to the ground, it just crumbles, turns into a sack of cloth, this actually maintains its shape, which consequently is comfortable as you're wearing it. The shoulder straps on this are pretty comfortable. And in addition, you have this little sternum strap. You can clip, keep the pack from moving too much across your body. And this actually came with, down here you have these tabs, kind of like one inch webbing and a clip. And obviously not a kidney belt because it'd pretty much cut you in half if you tried to bear any weight on it. The only thing I think it really served as far as purpose, serving a purpose, would be if you're running or cycling or something like that, maybe keeping it from sliding around. But honestly, it was one of those things that was just pretty much in the way. Took it off, haven't looked back, and thing does great without it. Again, if you want to, go ahead and clip this guy, cinch it down, adjust your shoulder straps, and you're pretty much good to go. Weight-wise, this pack weighs just under 15 ounces, which is pretty good considering the internal frame. And as far as packs go, I love this pack. Not my favorite necessarily outdoor day hike pack. I have other packs that honestly I feel kind of carry better and work better for that. But this thing has totally performed for me with respect to traveling. And something to be said for this in this design is Generally, manufacturers change it up every couple years. One, because they want to design something better or they just want something new to sell you. I've had this pack coming up on 10 years, still going strong, no zippers broken, anything like that. Used it extensively traveling through airports and the design is unchanged, which definitely says something with respect to the design. If you're looking for a good travel pack, highly recommend this Mantis by Arcteryx. Great pack, kind of that happy medium as far as the necessities I want to travel with versus trying to bring something ungainly onto a plane through airport, anything like that. Or if you think this is gonna do a good job for you as just a day hike pack, pick one up. They're awesome and you're gonna have it for years. As far as colors, they actually don't offer this anymore. They have a black, gray, which they call something else that sounds cooler than gray midnight hawk which is like a dark blue and then they have a brighter blue which again has a really cool name price wise about 150 bucks and you can find them a bunch of different places to include amazon and pretty much everywhere you look though about 150 bucks as far as packs go you could say that's kind of expensive but how many zippers do you have last about a decade not to mention this will probably go for another 10 20 who knows how many years Great pack, high quality, really pleased with it. As always, thanks for joining us at kipadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.